We've got your big AFC North Week 11 game right here. Sincerely, Pittsburgh fans. Last chance for the Packers. Love throws. End zone. Intercepted. And it's over. Cleveland fans are signing that letter too. Oh, Ravens Bengals is going to be so great this week. Cincinnati will be on a six game winning streak. Baltimore will have won five in a row. Oh man, it's going to be so epic. Hopkins from 40 for the win. It is good. Lana would hit all that with a nope. Cleveland Pittsburgh week 11, the game that gets top billing in the AFC North. Winner takes the division lead maybe. This is round two for these two. Week two, Monday night affair. Pittsburgh wins a good one, 26-22. It's a lot of twos, man. Watch it. He wants to throw it. He does, and he throws it up to the third. And it's intercepted on a tip with that football. Alex Highsmith to the goal line. Touchdown, Pittsburgh, on the first play. But that night was very much like finding out Bunny Lebowski had supposedly been kidnapped. Nick Chubb, man. That was a bummer. It was a bummer, man. But it gave Jerome Ford a chance to shine. Remember that? He came on and went for a 69-yarder, 106-yard game. Ford over the right side. Nice change of direction. Watson throws a block for him. Jerome Ford down the sideline. Browns didn't win that one, but their rush attack is the key to their offense faring well. Six wins overall. Only one of those wins had them rush for less than 100 yards. And in four of them, including their big win over Baltimore last week, 150 plus. Second and 10, it's Ford, spins. And we'll pick up a first down and more. Ford was again prominent, 107 yards for him on 17 carries, 6.3 a run, his long 28. And Ford just keeps going in that offensive line. They love the way those running backs have been running all game. They get up there and start pushing and pushing the pile. Look at that. Kareem Hunt scored along the ground for them too. Kareem Hunt picks up a first wow. down and he's into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. He only garnered 32 yards, but 10 tries. Eight for Deshaun Watson, who picked up 37 yards. Watson, pump fake. Uh oh, crosses midfield. Deshaun Watson all the way to the Ravens, 40. The Browns ran the ball 36 times on the Ravens. That was Baltimore's defensive weakness, rush defense. And it's Pittsburgh's as well. 24 rush attempts faced last week, 4.8 yards per carry allowed, gave up a 40-yard run to A.J. Dillon. It's A.J. Dillon. Big gain for Dillon. A 40-yard rip. And while that one run made their numbers look bad week 10, they've allowed 4.5 a carry to running backs this season. Run defense, not their defensive strength. Touchdown and justice for all, as Justice Hill puts it in the end zone. Pass defense is their thing in combination with TJ Watt and company. They represent another tough test for Watson as a passer. They just got done holding Jordan Love to a 71.8 rating and picked him off twice. Love lets it fly. End zone! Off the deflection, it's intercepted! Picked off by Keanu Neal! Last week showing, generally speaking, akin to how the Steelers have played the pass in 2023. So have fun with that, Dorian Thompson Robinson. The Browns going with the rookie who played back in week four and they turned him loose. 33 pass attempts, took four sacks, threw three picks. The throw. Deflection, the Ravens have the pick. Deshaun Watson done for the year, the Cleveland QB curse alive and well. The silver lining to it, maybe? Watson's production was subpar. DTR isn't replacing an A-grade QB or even a B-level one. So all he has to do is get his grades up to the C-level and they'll be back where they started. Thompson Robinson on time to Peoples Jones. I know all about having to work your way back up to C-grades, man. Will DTR have time to try and look like a 2.0 student? Watson took four more sacks last week. Cleveland QBs have taken a lot of those. From the 31 on first down, down. Watson, sack, ball comes loose. So you'd expect Watt to get to do his signature Sally O'Malley impression. Love devoured from behind by TJ Watts. I'm TJ and I can kick, stretch and kick, which I've done 10 and a half times now. Watson in trouble, there he is. TJ Watt. Browns pass catchers. Cleveland got 44 yards and a TD from wide receiver Elijah Moore versus Green Bay. He's not a constant, but he showed up last week. Nice job, Deshaun Watson finding Elijah Moore for the touchdown. And you see the frustration on the Ravens defense because what are you supposed to do? The rest of Watson's week 10 action to the usual suspects, save Kaiser Solse. Tight end David Njoku, six catches, 58 yards. Browns pick up the first Ooh. down and the 
Njoku keeps on going. Amari Cooper, lead dog most games, six catches, 98 yards versus a top-rated Baltimore secondary. Clear out the zone, it allows for Amari Cooper to come right in behind. Deshaun Watson puts a nice ball on him for a first down. If you want to go deeper into Pittsburgh's secondary, they have played both wide receivers and tight ends well in 2023. Steelers defense not usually on the hook when Pittsburgh loses. That's typically been on the offense. But there's been a shift. OC Matt Canada went field level a few weeks ago, and all of a sudden, Pittsburgh is a run-first team, 205 yards rushing last week, 5.7 yards per carry, two touchdowns. Run and play for Warren. Jalen Warren rips through for the touchdown. Jalen Warren, 15 carries, 101 yards, 6.7 per, a TD, 85 plus yards in back-to-back -back games. Here, you think he's starting to go down. His body weight leaning over his feet, but he stays up and then accelerates again. Najee Harris, 82 yards, 5.1 a carry, a touchdown, 69 plus yards in back-to-back -back games, and over four yards per carry, two games in a row. That's what lots of Pittsburgh fans thought he was capable of when they drafted him. Second and seven, Harris remains in there. Give it to him again. This time there's a hole. Harris takes that hole and turns it into a big gain. So feed them boys some more, right? Brown's defense is easier to run on compared to pass on, relatively speaking. Gave up 4.4 a carry to Baltimore last week. Cuts to the outside. Oh, wow. That's a first down and more. Still going. Keith Mitchell all the way into the end zone. Brown's giving up four a run to running backs on the season. Still, you'd expect Pittsburgh to go run heavy, throwing the ball on Cleveland is Kenny Loggins' territory. They held Lamar Jackson to a 67.8 rate, picked him off twice, have great numbers versus quarterbacks in 2023. Oh, uh -oh. The picked off and taken back by Newsom. Newsom stayed in bounds, touchdown! They have Miles Garrett, 10 and a half sacks, one and a half bags last week. Cleveland got home three times versus Baltimore. Jackson in trouble. Down he goes again. Second straight play, Miles Garrett. Brown's defense, quite the obstacle for a quarterback like Kenny Pickett. Just 126 yards versus the Packers, 5.5 yards per attempt, a rating under 80. Let's it fly to the sideline. Incomplete. It looked like Johnson had it for a moment. He didn't turn the ball over, at least, and hasn't thrown a pick in five straight games. Pickett pats the ball and throws on a line, hauled in by Johnson. Hey, man, that's what they ask from him at this point. Can you just not mess up? Will he versus Cleveland? Comment section time. That's where you go to work, panel attention. 10, go to work with your predictions.